Dear team, this is take six. Okay, so I wanted to show you the new application we're gonna be using to mix our in-ear monitors. It's called Clang, and it's an application that goes on your smartphone and allows you to control the levels of the instruments in your in-ear monitors and also the panning. And in fact, it's so um, complex that you can actually do 3D sound in your head. So it sounds like you're actually standing on a stage with musicians in different places in front of you and behind you. So. Um, the app, like I said, is called Clang, and I'm going to put links for the applications in the uh, video description. So on the YouTube channel, there's a video description, and you can click the link for the Android version and for the iTunes Apple version. So um, you can download them now and start playing with them, and there's a demo version, so you can just play around and get used to it. And then when you bring your phone into the church, we'll hook it up to our system. So here's the app. It's called Clang. And it looks like that. So you can see all the different instruments, snare, hi-hat, overhead, percussion, bass, keys, etc. And if you press this white bar, you can scroll over and see the rest of the stuff over here. Up and down, you can press to turn, like, let's say you want the kick drum up. You can press the plus button, or you can just drag your finger and drag this slider up or down. That's probably the much easier way to do it. You can do that for all the different channels, up and down, up and down. So you get to balance your mix exactly how you want. Scroll over and do the rest over here. Yay, you're happy with your mix. The master volume to turn up the overall mix is here on the left, up and down. So that's basically all you're really going to use is faders. Uh, if you want to get more in-depth, you can go to stage and pan things, but Eli is going to actually set up um, presets for each of the musicians so that wherever you stand on the stage that the panning is already laid out at, as the stage is from where you're standing. So if you're like a background vocalist, you'll be in the center, but like Alex or the worship leader will be over here because that's where he's actually standing and then the keyboard player would be here, an electric guitar player would be here, drummer would be there. So we will preset those up for you so you don't really have to worry about panning. All you have to worry about is the fader levels. And again, it's as simple as swiping up and down on the instruments that you want. We will also, when we build the presets, we'll set it up so that it's basically pretty close to what we think you need and you can just make minor adjustments. We're going to be using this mode as 3D mode, not i3D, not stereo, not mono. You don't want those. You want this one 3D. So that's it um, for the tutorial. I think it's pretty straightforward and I hope that you're going to love it and it's going to make playing more fun because you can actually hear things like you're supposed to. All right, God bless you guys. Bye.